Greetings, folks, and welcome to the very kitchen table of Two Improper. We're going to do my first tabletop review on a gun. And today, as you can see by the speed loader, the gun today is a 38 special gun called the, the Ruger LCR. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, this is the Ruger LCR, and the purpose of this gun, the Ruger LCR, is to be an immediate use, get yourself out of trouble type of firearm. Ooh, where, where do I hold it? There we go. I got the camera kind of close, um, so I have to find my placement. This is the Ruger LCR. It is a five shot revolver. It is a double action revolver. Double action only. And by that, what we mean is um, <clears throat> you squeeze the trigger and it does both double. It moves the bullet into position and fires the hammer. All right, so a single action, you squeeze the trigger, it just releases a hammer or a striker, hits the primer, and that's it. Just one, boom, and that's it. This, you have this, squeeze in the trigger, moves the bullet into position, and fires the gun. So um, that's the difference. And then there's also many other guns that are both double and single action. Before I go further into this review, I want to apologize for my voice because I'm very sick today. I've got me a nasty cold that I wish really didn't happen, but, but it did. But I'm taking advantage of this day because I'm by myself and I have less interference noise and stuff um, while I'm trying to do the review. Now, this revolver here, and I'll continue, is um, it's made of a lightweight um, material as far as the metal is concerned here, right? This can hold 38, this can handle 38 special plus P rounds, which means more powerful. I think it can handle plus P plus, but um, you know, you can't go too much higher than what the gun manufacturer recommends for your power in the bullet. Well, I personally use 38 special plus P rounds. Um, these are by um, Hornady, um, zombie killer gun bullets you know i guess there's this whole big zombie campaign they don't want to freak people out because people are crybabies and oh my god it's for shooting people uh okay it's for shooting zombies whatever but um so zombie killer bullet and it's a stupid name but uh really the bullet's a very effective uh bullet and which will mushroom out perfect and take tissue with it and not over penetrate the, uh, the person you're shooting it into. Because I'm realistic here on the Two Improper channel, where, where there's no zombies, so, you know, the guns really, yes, they are meant to shoot people. Yes, I'm afraid so. So, um, if you, if it's really terrible for whoever's watching this, get over it, I guess. But, so, um, uses 38 Special plus P rounds, which is good. It can use regular 38 Special, that's fine. 357 Magnum will fit, but do not fire a 357 Magnum round from a 38 Special, regardless of what you have heard. Your manufacturer does not want you to do that. Do not do that. You will, you will mess your world up. Um, this gun here has um, also a polymer frame. So the frame here and everything is polymer, whereas normally on um, 38 Special Revolvers, it was metal, which means a much heavier gun. This one, however, is a 14-ounce gun. That's not bad. That's less than a pound. That's empty, but that's less than a pound, which is great, because it makes this gun so that you can put it in a pocket holster and slide it in your front jeans pockets, um, and it doesn't print, and it's not very thick as you can see right there. So people can't really tell that you are carrying a firearm. The handle, maybe so. But you know, if you're like me, you wear baggier jeans, you're not trying to go tight. And let's face it, folks, especially if you're my age, those Sergio Valentes of the 70s just don't look good on us anymore. So I don't wear them. But, um, I digress. Um, so this fits perfectly in your front pocket. And, you know, nobody's the wiser. You have this gun in your pocket. This gun is more intended, like I was saying, as a, an immediate use and to get your butt out of trouble kind of gun. Um, and the purpose of any 
handgun anyway is to get you to your rifle. Um, that said, nobody carries rifles when they're out going grocery shopping and stuff like that. So the purpose of this gun here is to get you out of trouble, is to protect you. And it's also a very good backup gun. I have carried this as a backup gun to my Glock um, and your law enforcement officers um, and you know Border Patrol people and so forth um, carry these in their pockets as well as their main carry gun uh, for, for their duties. And um, by the way guys, thank you all for your duties. Love them. But um, so this is a good pocket gun. This is not an accuracy standing around having a gunfight gun because you've only got five rounds in here, right? That presents a problem to some people. Some people like to carry a gun that gives them more rounds. I say carry a gun, period. But um, I use this if I'm going someplace um, that I figure to be relatively, you know, a short visit, you know, um, Otherwise, I'll carry a higher capacity magazine to ensure that uh, I'm getting out of trouble or if I'm, you know, ganged up on by multiple people that I have enough to get myself out of trouble. Um, but, okay, so that's the purpose of this gun. Um, and it's a lightweight gun. Again, it's not uncomfortable. You can carry this around in your pocket all day. You'll forget you have it. Um, a good feature for this gun, or there's actually a couple good features besides the lightweight and the durability is that the um, the chamber release button right here releasing the uh, releasing the wheel it is very you just push it in you know some of them you have to slide your finger forward or whatever no bam here you just push it and open comes your chambers I like that um, another good feature for this gun is the Hogue grips um, Ruger has put Hogue grips on um, most of their LCRs so, with an else with a 38 special revolver of this size, when you shoot it, it'll kick your ass. It'll hurt your hands, basically. Um, if you can't stand around and shoot it all day, but when you've got something like whole grips that are nice and soft and give you good grip and doesn't hurt, um, you know it's more comfortable to shoot and it's more fun to shoot. I love shooting this gun. Big bang because it's a revolver and it disperses the the pressure and the energy out, you know, without being enclosed in a barrel of a gun such as a, you know, um, like a, you see everything's enclosed, the bullet just gets let loose here in the Glock, right? But, you know, here, it strikes the bullet here and just all it is is power coming out of the side. So that's why these are so loud. They're like a cannon going off, basically. And, um, you know, um, and it has quite a kick because it's a smaller gun. Uh, that's why the hold grips are great. Another good feature of this gun is that there is no external hammer. You see that? No external hammer. This way, you can have this gun in your pocket and when you draw it, it's not going to get hung up on that hammer that people are usually able to pull back um, before they shoot, such as in a single action mode. Um, but... Um, and another good feature for that is that you can have this gun in your front coat pocket uh, and, you know, your hands are in your coat pockets and you're walking down the street on a cold day. Somebody approaches you. If you have to, you can shoot them through your coat and nothing gets hung on it. And no, it won't start your coat on fire unless you have a flammable coat. I don't know. But um, you can sh actually shoot them through your coat, surprising them. Um, they chose the wrong person, basically. So that's another advantage for this. Concealability is wonderful, and um, you know, and stealth is really good. Um, some may consider it a little thick because of this, but Ruger has worked on this um, on this part to make it smaller, and they use that kind of material, which is beautiful. I mean, look at that material. Look at that. Look at those chambers. Right? Let me open that for you. I'll show you that side too. I mean, Ruger did some work on this gun. I ain't kidding you. So, um, they did a good job. This one, this gun here, as a matter of fact, the Smith & Wesson Airweight, or any of the guns that are set up in this lightweight format, 
uh, you cannot go wrong with. But I preferred the Ruger because of the, um, the whole grips and, and just really how beautiful I think this gun is. This gun is just absolutely beautiful. And um, I get it in a more strategic way here. No. And uh, so uh, there's that. Now, um, holsters and things like that, aftermarket parts, there's going to be a lot because this is a Ruger and because there's a lot of people buying smaller revolvers. So leather holsters and stuff like that for regular 38 specials will fit many 38 specials. Um, many, many not perfectly because some people are proprietary. Um, there's Phobus tactical holsters um, and other tactical holsters for revolvers such as this where when you put your gun in it has that click, that retention click. Hear that? That means your, your holster's not going anywhere. This thing sits on your belt just like that, pointing downward of course. And um, you know nobody's going to be able to get this gun out of your holster without you noticing it. You know, because it's impossible for them to pull it in either direction other than a natural up pulling that a person would do when they index their weapon. Right? So there's holsters like that, and then there's beautiful brown leather holsters and beautiful black leather holsters, which are great. Or there's those pocket holsters like I was telling you about, so you can keep the gun uh, concealed nicely. Um... This gun actually has been a very reliable gun, and of course, because it's a wheel gun, wheel, because it's a wheel gun, there has been not many malfunctions. Um, downside to these kind of guns again is that there is only on this one five shots, and on most uh, five or six, um, so you're not going to be able to stand around having extended gunfights. Um, I do recommend if you carry um, a revolver that you also have a speed loader which um, from this angle I'm gonna show you but um, the object behind this is speed um, you know if you had to load your gun right away but you shoot off and this gun yes is empty you can see that right um, you shoot your five rounds bang 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 right you gotta pop open your gun um, push your push your extractor it ejects the empty casings then you take your speed loader Line it up, line your bullets up on it. See, I'm dead already, because you don't do it from this angle. Line your bullets up, turn this thing which has them locked in. Boom, release the bullets. Bam. Ready to go. Now this is a hot gun. You see that? Now it's inoperable, but it is a hot gun. There's bullets. So what I will do is pull these bullets out. For you protectionist nervous Nellies who may be watching this, now there's also speed strips, right? Now these are good too. Um, you know how you fumble around for bullets, or like they did in those gangster movies. You know, oh my god, I gotta feed this thing. You know, um, speed strips are pretty cool because you just go bam. It's just held in by rubber, so it's not as hard. That way you're not fumbling for bullets, but it's still not as quick as your speed loader. You know. So, but um, it's still a good option. Speed strips are a good option. I would bring these to the range. You know, um, you know, just so I'm not standing around um, feeding um, bullets into something by hand like that. Kind of tedious. So, um, folks, this was the um, the Ruger LCR. It's a good get your ass out of trouble gun. Um, it is a, a beautiful gun. It's one that I love. I will never get rid of this gun because this gun is my baby. Um, it's a good vehicle gun, um, and if you're a concealed carrier, it's a great carrier weapon. You know, I just recommend carrying a couple speed loaders with you just in case. But, um, you know, I, I really primarily carry my Glock, but still, this one's pretty good for light clothing. Summertime, if you have big baggy shorts or something, this thing in your short pocket, that's good. That way you don't have to holster carry a weapon. And um, and the holsters for these guns, and because of the old style styling of these snubbies, um, they look really good in a good leather holster. You know, for those who are concerned about looks, you know, sometimes we are. But anyway, this is the tabletop portion of uh, this video, and then before this is over, you're going to see a recoil demo 
of this gun and you'll see just how much it recoils. So thank you for watching this part of the Ruger LCR video. I am too improper. Please subscribe and pass it around. Um, the more the merrier. Thank you very much for watching. I know I have no script, so that was a little bit weird. Um, thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Thank you for being an American, and God bless. The recoil demo. This is to demonstrate the recoil on this weapon.